of the other rare types of objects that WISE may find is possibly the nearest star to our sun. We think that there's a good chance that our sun actually does have a closer neighbor than we already know about, and it's likely to be a very cool type of star called a brown dwarf. The temperature may be room temperature or even colder, maybe as cold as an iceberg, say. With WISE, we expect the unexpected. We're looking for new surprises and new discoveries. And with this exciting survey, we're going to be finding a treasure trove of discoveries that astronomers are going to mine for decades to come. Thank you. I, I realize you're focusing on near-Earth asteroids today, but uh, there's been so much talk about the potential for finding a planet X or some sort of large body uh, through the WISE survey. Can you comment on any, uh, any status on, on that sort of search or, or maybe even reassure people that planet X isn't coming to get them next year? Uh, yes, this is Amy Meinzer. I'm happy to answer this one. There, uh, planet X is not coming to get us. Um, so, but we are looking to see if there are any other bodies in the outer part of the solar system with the WISE data. This is a very natural project for WISE. And so we're still working on it right now. Uh, it's, we've obviously just returned a huge amount of data from the telescope that's going to take us a long time to sort through. Uh, but the initial results are very promising. You may have seen earlier results where we've discovered a new class of very cool type of stars with WISE. Uh, but the search is still on, and uh, we don't think that there's anything that's hazardous in the outer solar system. We think that this is a, just a sort of a, if there is something out there, it would be a large body in a roughly circular orbit. Our next caller, Denise Chow from Space.com. So when you say the initial results are very promising, yeah, uh, the, the initial results are very promising. Anything else you wanted to say on that point? We've actually been able to confirm the discovery of 100 new uh, objects that are these very cool stars called brown dwarfs. And so uh, that's very similar to what uh, people are interested in looking for. So we've actually found some of these that are relatively close to the Earth, but none of these are closer at this point than the nearest star to our solar system. So it's a good start, though. Thank you. Okay, now we'll go to Denise from Space.com. Denise? Hi, uh, Denise Chow at Space.com. Thanks for taking my question. Um, I was under the impression, but please correct me if I'm wrong, that the, um, the WISE mission was um, officially shut down in February 2011. Um, so does that mean that in the months and years to come, it'll be more of sifting through the, the survey information that has been collected, or is there a plan to continue with um, a, another mission to take more of these uh, sky surveys? Well, uh, this is Amy, and I'll answer this. Uh, we like to think that the WISE spacecraft, having completed its baseline mission successfully, is now in honorable retirement. Uh, it's in hibernation mode, having accomplished all of the goals and then some that uh, were set out for it. So we're, we're uh, happy to now be looking at the data.